Guys, there's so much technology today to give you early warning for your security at your home. And there's nothing worse than being at home and not feeling secure. And many of you know, you know, recently we just had a break in. And so I'm doing a lot of things to update my security system. Been lax, kind of lazy. Uh, we had just moved. In fact, we moved next door of all things. So we just hadn't gotten around to getting things set. We'd been here a number of years, so we weren't really worried. Uh, but obviously it can happen to anyone. So we just bought one of the Harbor Freight driveway sensors. And it's actually from Bunker Hill Security. These things are very reasonable. Uh, I think they retail for $17.95, and then we got a 20% discount. It was under $15 for the system. In fact, I bought two of them for around $30 with tax. And they're easy to install, and I'll tell you, technology is so easy to use for your security, and the price can be very reasonable. And so while we have a security system in our home that's monitored while we're away and we can access it online, Sometimes having some simple systems around your home can be very inexpensive, but it can really save you a lot of money and it could even save your life. The Bunker Hill Security Driveway Alert System is simple and it's very reasonable. It comes with a, a transmitter, it comes with a receiver, mounting screws, and that's all you need except for batteries. Really simple system. Uh, the transmitter itself is an IR transmitter and it's just one of those very similar to your security light systems that it detects movement and really it's an IR sensor so it really detects heat and you don't want to really put this in direct sunlight uh, according to the instructions. Uh, full instructions and they're really easy to understand and read and I would recommend you read them because it gives you a lot of information. Uh, the sensor itself has a 40 degree angle it says that it will sense up to 30 feet, but I found that that's not really true because it goes a lot farther than that. We were getting up to 40 to 50 feet away and still setting off the sensor. So one of the things that's going to be big about before you install this is not to have it facing an area that has high traffic, high movement. A good buddy of mine the other night uh, had his going off about 3 in the morning. He said it just kept going off. He was like beep, 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 beep. He looked out through the driveway and there were nine deer standing at the end of his driveway. Uh, so it does pick up things and you're going to have to be aware of that. It's supposed to set between three and five feet off the ground. Uh, but again, you just want to make sure that when you, you test this out, you mount it, you take your uh, receiver and you can check out how it's doing and what degrees it's going to pick up. The receiver takes three C-cell batteries, but it also has a DC converter. Uh, that's separate. It's an accessory. I didn't find them. I don't know where you can get them. Uh, you might want to check the Bunker Hill Security website. Uh, they may have the addition to it. Or you may have a one that fits this particular size. It also has the off-on switch here. You can cut your receiver off if you want to. If, like my friend, having a lot of deer around, he may have just wanted to switch it off for the night. You have a high and a low setting, and we're going to test that as well. It not only comes with mounting hardware, but it also comes with a template to be able to mount your receiver. Because you're going to be mounting this inside the house. It doesn't need one for this one because there's only one screw that fits, and this one goes on the outside. The receiver will pick up up to 400 feet away through walls, and so it's really good. Uh, we got it a good distance away, and I'm installing this actually in a uh, laundry room. So we can close the door, and we can hear it, but it's not too annoying. And they do come with a 90-day warranty. So, you know, for any defects or anything, and you'll be able to find out that for the, for the 90 days. Now, according to the manual, it says that it's not weatherproof. And this really needs to be somewhere out. And I didn't really want to put it next to the house. So I'm going to put it right under this ledge under the fence. And really, I think this will be fine. It's really mainly for direct weather. Uh, getting this wet is not going to really hurt it. But in the container where this comes in, I actually cut that out. And I'm going to set it like this, just to give it a little bit of added protection. If you're going to do that, you're going to need to cut this entire area out because the screw goes in and then up. Again, when setting this up, you're not going to want it in a high traffic area. And the range on it is pretty extensive. You can see this little light going off. Every time there's movement. Take your transmitter, walk in front, see how far this thing will pick up. If you have someone to help you, that's actually better. But this way you'll be able to know where your uh, hot spots are and what kind of action. If it'll detect a human, it'll definitely detect a car.
I think it's working. Now there is a high and low setting. That's high. It's loud. Put it on low. Much better. So you're going to have different, uh, of course it's according to where your need is. Somebody's getting upset. The difference between this and having a dog is you can turn this off. I'm going to put this in the laundry room so it's not so loud, but yet we can still hear it when we're in the living room or in the bedroom. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it right here beside the light, and I'm going to use this little template, and I'm going to mark my spot. We're going to put our anchor in this one because it's all drywall. You enter the screw here and then you just push it down and it fits snug to the wall. There you go. We'll turn it on. We're going to leave it on low. If this isn't tight, you can tighten those screws down just a little bit more to fit it. With technology today, it's so easy and inexpensive to set up a security system around your home. You know, I'm not going to tell you not to get a good installed security system that's monitored because that's what we have in our home. But for the things that are around our home, it's great to be able to have some peace of mind, especially in the middle of the night. At least it gives you a heads up warning. And so we know if anybody's messing around with our vehicles, if they're out in the driveway, we know what's going on. And so it's just, again, a good peace of mind. Now in the next week or so, I'll be updating what I found out from the driveway monitor system on my Facebook page. And that's Such Fun Gun Reviews Facebook page. And of course, I'll have the link down in the description below. Um, and I also have Harbor Freight's uh, website also. Great place to go, a lot of odds and ends, a lot of cool things. Now of course, this is a very inexpensive system. So if you really want to go a step above, there are other systems out there that are more expensive and more complicated. But I'll tell you what, for what this is, for about $15, you just can't beat it. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. This is the big boy right here. Yeah. Of course, for what you gotta pay for dog food, you can definitely pay for this security system. Yeah. But you know what? You're not gonna get love out like this out of that security system, are you? No, you're not. Big boy. Here comes the fam. Down the drive. 